Hey everybody, this is Rockin' Spirit, aka Jen, coming to you live, once again from my car. <laughs> I wanted to come to you today and just talk to you about something that unfortunately is probably all too common and dynamic in relationship with people. And then I want to um, share what I believe the Lord would want us to do in relationship to these dynamics. Did you ever have somebody in your life that is an extremely passionate and intense person, but not necessarily to the positive, but in such a way that it becomes very destructive, uh, unrestful, not peaceful, high intensity to the point of unrest almost in a way where it is suffocating and feeling confrontational even if it is an innocent topic you find yourself feeling as if you are cornered in like prey from a in a predator type scenario because this type of dynamic for somebody that likes peace and a stable environment would be very challenging and although a topic might be just a normal topic, somehow it ends up becoming a heightened, combative conversation over an innocent matter. And you end up feeling you're wrong, you're to blame. And now it's a fault situation when it isn't even about right or wrong. It's just a conversation and somehow it becomes a war towards you and you're the screw up in every other insult or stress that can be heaped upon you from this intense person. It is very challenging to say the least and um, not at all healthy. It's not healthy for the person receiving that. And that intensity is probably burning the person out that's giving it and, and existing with that intensity in their life. God says that we're to be peaceful and at rest in Him. And although there might be a place for intensity, but not when it's put at another human being. If you want to give your gusto and all that you do with your work and strive to do the best that you can, but you, when you're relating to other people, to turn that intensity into a host, hostile environment for that person and to take the peace away from them because of your passion, I think that is a disservice to the relationship and is very damaging to the individual. And I can tell you, I have somebody in my life that's like that. And um, I'm half the person today that I used to be as a result of the stress and intensity. Uh, there's no reprieve because If you remove yourself from the dynamic, then you're left with the emotional bewilderment for hours or days after. And it does burn your life out. It does cause undue stress. And I don't think God meant for all of our dealings in life to end up in a stressful interaction. Even the inflection can be stressful if there's no animosity there and person's just sharing their passion if they're doing it in a stressful way it is very demanding on the person receiving it and very unfair it's very unfair to um, discount the quality of life of another individual because of your passion and overbearingness and sharing life with them you have to be considerate of the other person um, Otherwise, you're robbing them of something that doesn't deserve to be robbed from them. And I know that God would want us to be mindful and esteem our brothers better than ourselves, and to be thoughtful in what we bring towards others and how we leave them feeling. 
and what we take from them. Um, God does say in his word to deny ourselves and to be a peacemaking people and to show love and kindness. And if you walk away from a conversation feeling defeated and that you are in error when you've done nothing wrong, I would suggest that that person really needs to check themselves and needs to get real. And you might even have to have a talk with them and let them know and help them see what they're doing because most of the time they have no idea that that's the way that they're treating people because they're not receiving it. They're only thinking in the moment about what they're giving and what they're trying to figure out and what they want. They're not thinking about what they are putting on that other person. They need to be a reader of people. They need to look at them and see if that person is receptive or if their eyes are glazed over and they're shallow breathing and they're glaring, just they're lost. They're, they're taking it in, but they're not absorbing it because they are maxed. They can't take any more information in. And when you see that happen, you got to know when to let go and leave that person alone um, for the best case for that person. You don't want to overwhelm and bombard anybody. When they're engaged in the conversation, then you can share the conversation. But as soon as they regress and they stop responding or looking interested, man, you need to know when to be quiet and back off and uh, let it rest. But I'm telling you, stress is not a good thing. We're supposed to be at rest. Um, and I don't know how to work through that. You know, I'm trying my best and I'm not doing it very well. And it's affecting me and it's making me ill. And I don't know how to get on the other side of it because it's in my life, that dynamic, it's in my life. Yet it's making my life sick. So what are you gonna do? We'll have to look into the word, inquire of God, ask him for peace and rest and to shield us and protect us from that dynamic. And pray for that person to be able to, to hear the Lord, if the Lord is revealing to them that this is not a good personality trait and it's affecting others and not a positive way, that that person would be able to receive and hear that from the Lord and would make those needed changes. That their eyes would be open to see the people they're having regular interaction if it's stressing them, um, affecting their peace and contentment, making them anxious, depressed, timid, whatever. So anyway, with that, I'm going to let you go and pray for me. Pray for my strength that I can um, weather the dynamics in my life and turn to the Lord, seek his face and seek rest in him. And that I am not overly moved with the oceans of others. So blessings, friends. God bless and make it a great day. Rock and spirit over and out.